I think we all understand the importance of finding the best gear and settings to use, and finding the right DPI is no different. After all, having a bad DPI could potentially be putting you at a massive disadvantage. But don't worry, because in this video, I'm going to take you through everything you need to know about mouse DPI so that you can own more noobs. So if you don't know what DPI is, DPI stands for dots per inch, and is essentially a measurement of how many pixels your mouse cursor moves per one inch of mouse movement. The standard DPI on most mice is 800, but many mice allow you to change this, and as technology has been advancing through the years, the limits for DPI have become quite ridiculous. For example, the ever so popular Logitech G Pro Superlight has a sensor that boosts a whopping 25,000 max DPI. And they're certainly not the only ones with high DPI capabilities either. However, it's important to note that just because a mouse can be set to high DPI doesn't mean it should be. Let me break it down for you. Not every mouse is created equally, and every mouse sensor comes with its own native DPI setting, or in other words, a range where it can truly track accurately. Some mice allow you to set the DPI higher than what it's actually capable of just for the sake of marketing. And while the mouse will still work at those levels, it's based off predictions and calculations instead of actual data going into the mouse. This is what's referred to as interpolation, which is a bit beyond the scope of this video. All you really need to understand is that you can't take the advertised max DPI at face value, and you have to look at the native DPI of the sensor, and that will tell you the actual range of DPIs the mouse can handle. Now, assuming that you're using a DPI that your mouse sensor supports, which DPI is the best? Should you use 400? 800? 1600? Something else? Well, there's a lot of confusion around this topic because mouse DPI often gets confused with mouse sensitivity. You see, DPI does change your sensitivity, but it's not the only factor in calculating that sensitivity. It's very possible for someone who uses 400 DPI to have the same sensitivity as someone using 1600 DPI. The person using 400 DPI would just need to set their in-game sensitivity four times higher, but the end result would be a sensitivity that is identical in-game. So then, why is DPI such a hot topic then? If it doesn't determine your sensitivity, then why even worry about it? Well, even though it doesn't determine your sensitivity, there are other pros and cons of using different DPIs. Perhaps the most controversial of these is pixel skipping, which is what it sounds like. It's when your crosshair in-game will jump over pixels, creating a dead zone. If you want to aim your crosshair at a pixel that falls in that dead zone, the only way to do that is to use your movement keys to shift that dead zone to a different area. The good news is, higher DPIs help reduce and eliminate that dead zone. However, in most modern games, this dead zone is extremely small to begin with, and will likely never be the reason you miss a shot. While it's possible you could miss by a single pixel, it's very unlikely, especially when the target you're aiming at is almost always larger than a pixel. And that's why even though higher DPI is technically better, you still see some pros use DPIs as low as 400. Simply put, for FPS gaming, your DPI matters a lot less than you think. A large part of deciding what DPI to use is going to be based off your own personal preference. But there are still some benefits that can be gained from changing your DPI. For example, high DPI can help train the fine motor skills in your fingers and wrist, which in return can help you improve the smoothness in your aim. Granted, the improvement will only be a small drop in the bucket when compared to actual aim training, but it can still give you that slight edge. It's also worth mentioning that using a higher DPI can in fact reduce your mouse latency. Optimum Tech put out a really good video on this topic where he went through and tested this, and I'll link it in the description if you're interested, but what his testing ultimately revealed is that there is a small difference, although the higher you go, the less of a difference it actually makes. Now, low DPI, on the other hand, does have its uses also. Because there's extra arm movement involved, it can actually help you to stay warmed up throughout the day even when you're not playing games. It can also be helpful if you use your mouse for any type of digital artwork or drawing, because it can make your mouse movement smoother. And it's a lot less stressful not to have to worry about the steadiness of your hand as much. Personally, I've used both in the past, and what I'll tell you is that as long as you're correcting your in-game sensitivity to match, there's really no right or wrong answer. And what I would recommend is to pick something that feels comfortable outside of the game. As long as it's within a reasonable range and your mouse sensor can handle it, it doesn't matter what DPI you choose. But if you're wondering what sensitivity to choose, that's an entirely different video on its own, which I've already made in the past and you can check out here. 